This episode is about the marketing that I would do if I was a startup that received a huge amount of funding, especially Series A funding, in the year 2021. I'm making this episode because I was just listening to the All In podcast, the most recent one, summarizing 2023. And David Friedberg said the biggest business loser in 2023 was companies that got Series A funding in 2021. Those were the biggest losers. And all my friends in the startup space and the venture capital space and the angel space and all the podcasts are saying the same thing. VCs are closing. There's a lot of sobriety going on in the venture capital space. And things are moving closer to what they're like in Europe. More conservative valuations. VCs want to see profitability. VCs want to see founders and teams who are smart with their money. And so this episode is about if you are not just any 2021 Series A funded company, VC funded company. This is especially if you are one of those companies, but you're also trying to survive. And there are a lot of these companies out there. And for all of these companies out there, I am recording this, this one for you. Maybe you're a marketer at one of these companies. Maybe you have a friend who's a founder of one of these companies. Maybe you're a founder of one of these companies. This is what I would focus on. So I want to say this doesn't really apply to startups that have found positive unit economics with paid media. But I think if you have found that, you're not struggling to survive. And a lot of these companies have not found that, where they know that they can put in X amount of money and it will return a customer who is worth this much to them. And it's that much more than the X amount of money. A lot of these startups have not found that because money was so easy to get in 2021. They didn't have to. They didn't even have to think about it. And most founders, most business people, most entrepreneurs don't know how to do low cost but impactful organic marketing. They don't know how to do SEO. They don't know how to do good organic social media marketing. And that is exactly what they should be doing in this dry funding environment. It's cut the paid media where you don't have positive unit economics and you are burning your investor capital. You are burning your runway. Cut that. Save as much money as you can and outsource the following two channels or try even doing one of the channels yourself. The first one that I'm going to talk about is TikTok because as I have said on the show, TikTok has the greatest immediate distribution and if you hit the viral jackpot once, that video goes, is viral across all platforms and it can go viral over and over again on Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels allows this. It's crazy. It's a party. It is a legitimate party. In fact, I just thought about this now. You could probably even take a viral video, leave the first, a viral TikTok, leave the first half of it in. I got to try this. Leave the first half of it in and then change the second half. But the first half is so important that it might still go viral. I got to try that. I'm totally going to try that. Ha, huh, that'll be, that's going to be crazy when I try it. TikTok, low cost. And so here's what you do. Let me just share what you do. Make several videos every day. You, the founder or your marketer can do this. Put them out as fast as possible. Start with the lowest bar for success, which is just get out a video a day. Shoot it with a TikTok app. Edit it with a TikTok app add the music and the captions with the TikTok app. Make sure you open the account in the country where you are targeting customers, where your customers are, in the country where your customers are. So if most of your customers are in the US, use a SIM card. You don't even need, you don't need to be in that location, but use a US SIM card to open that and keep the US SIM card in when you are putting out content. So if you could be a company in France and your customers are in the US, so open the account with a US SIM card and every day when you put up a video, make sure there's a US SIM card in the phone that is doing the uploading. Use reusevideo.com. I talk about this all the time. It makes it so your videos come out simultaneously on every social media platform. All of them use mobile video. It's an automation that you set up. So there's no TikTok watermark and TikTok gives you the greatest distribution. IG Reels, Instagram Reels will give you very good distribution too, but only if the content is viral. If it's not viral content, on average, you'll get better distribution. 
with TikTok. And TikTok is a better test for what will go viral. TikTok is basically easier. And then you just put up videos as often as you can, trying to learn as fast as you can. And if you do that for three months, you, your company will have a life-changing event, which is a video. You're only putting up content about your startup. You will have a video that performs so well, makes you so much money, and then you will reuse it over and over and over again. You can cut it so you can keep the first half. You can, it, it'll keep going viral. And it's cheap to do this. It's so cheap to do this. And when it works, it works. Peter Levels, famous solopreneur, he, made, he got $60,000 of MRR, of monthly recurring revenue from one video. I made a video for a company as an affiliate. I think it's probably also made 60,000 MRR. And if you have an affiliate software, if, if you're a company that you, and you're able to have an affiliate program in, every new customer will bring more customers. You can use Tolt. We're actually about to put this, T-O-L-T, we're about to put this in our own startup reverb. Really looking forward to that. It's just really easy to use affiliate program software. And the other thing about TikTok and mobile video, you can outsource this. You can pay a kid. You literally can pay a, a, a kid in South America or in Eastern Europe who understands social media. You spend a week onboarding the kid saying, this is our software. This is how it works. This is who we're targeting. You want to make videos promoting these qualities. Here's the software, just use it for the next week. And then you pay the kid $1,000 a month. The kid just turns out three, four videos a day. Doesn't take the kid very long. I, I told this story before, back in February, 2023, me and one of my co-founders, we were experimenting with GPT, just made a simple app using it. It's called bestreasonswhy.com, gives you reasons to do anything. Very simple. I made three videos in 75 minutes about this, about this product. One of the three videos got 67,000 views that brought 3,100 users in a single day. And all of this can be outsourced. So that's, that's one. But, but you might hear this and you might also be like, well, you know, our brand isn't good for TikTok. Which is, by the way, that is an incorrect belief that a lot of brands have. I've heard this before. Most brands, pretty much all brands can be on TikTok. There are interested parties or people who know interested parties on TikTok for every niche, and you have one video that does well, that's interesting, and then it'll go viral on Instagram as well, and your audience will certainly be there. But you know, you're sti you're you're sticking with TikTok's just not for me. TikTok's not for me, man. Give me give me what else you got. All right. So the other one is bottom of funnel search engine optimization. Listeners of the show know that this is probably my favorite marketing channel. If you're a Series A funded company, you've probably had press about you. You probably have a decent domain authority and you can rank for things. This can also be outsourced. And I literally teach how to do this for free within all of my resources on this podcast, on my newsletter, in my articles. I have multiple articles about how to do bottom of funnel search engine optimization. You can search my love letter to bottom of funnel SEO. I, I wrote that's a longer piece about bottom of funnel search engine optimization. Bottom of funnel SEO targets the people who are looking for your use cases, but they don't know about your company. And there's so many more people than most companies realize who are actually searching these use cases. I think every product has a market and entrepreneurs just don't know how to find it. They don't know how to find this market. And bottom of funnel SEO finds this market and it's evergreen. Once you rank for these use cases, once you show up high for these use cases, you just stay there and it's cheap to do. You don't have to write several thousand words per page per use case. You can write 450 words. You can learn how to do this and then have a team just generate these pages, just pump them out and work on building your domain authority, your SEO domain authority, but you're, it's probably already high from the press that you got when you raised very common companies will raise a series A and get a decent amount of press appear in TechCrunch or whatever it is. If you want to build domain authority easily, you can do a product hunt launch, just relaunch your product on product hunt. You can use feature.com. I'm personally using this for edwardsturm.com. You can launch on beta list. You can put out a press release with prlog.org. These are all things that you can do super low cost, super low cost. 
every day you have a new page targeting a new use case. And I, I've written multiple pieces about how to do this method, but you need to know that it exists. Most people don't even realize that it exists. They don't realize that it's within reach. They don't realize that it's easy. And it's easy. It's actually so easy. It's crazy. And it's inexpensive. If you're doing this with TikTok, it's so low, it's just so low cost. And after doing this for six months, you should have a really good funnel going. And then you can optimize the funnel and you can, you can make it convert better. You can work on getting a positive K factor. So customers, so one customer leads to two customers. You actually can do all of this. And marketing is basically, it, it's so cheap at this point. I'm not going to say it's free because maybe you're outsourcing everything, but it's cheap, thousands of dollars a month. And even after, after six months, the truth is you could probably stop. I wouldn't advise it, but you could just stop marketing and have your funnel just stay there and keep bringing you customers. You could take the viral videos, re-upload them yourself every couple of months to TikTok and to, and to Instagram Reels. The SEO pages are just there bringing you customers month after month after month after month. So these are very inexpensive cha channels. TikTok is actually very reliable. If you want an, an example of a brand that is promoting itself on TikTok in a good way, search Key Stasher on TikTok. This is an affiliate product that just makes videos about its own product. And a bunch of those videos fail and then a bunch of them succeed spectacularly and sell a lot of the product. So these are all low cost channels that can be utilized. Also, you can launch on Product Hunt over and over again after every iteration that you make. People don't know that. These are all low cost channels. They will work together. They will create a positive flywheel, bringing you customers and publicity and increasing your SEO domain authority. And it's so much better than burning your runway on paid media when you do not have positive unit economics. I would set those things up. They will keep a business alive. They will keep a startup alive. And so that's what this episode is about. If you are a 2021 Series A funded company struggling, clawing at staying alive, please, please do this. I put out all these resources for free so you can learn how to do this. And you know what? If you're not one of these companies, do this too. I'm doing this myself because I believe in it so much. It is the best. I mean it. It is just so like, it's so amazing. I, I talk about that. I talk about these channels on every show because it's like, why would I talk about channels that I don't, that don't work as well, that I don't believe in as much? Like these channels to me, it's my favorite. All right. This is episode 180 of The Edward Show. This is my daily growth hacking podcast. These are hacks. Bottom of funnel SEO, that's a hack. TikTok, it's a hack. Repurposing content, that's a hack. These are hacks, baby. And I want you to hack your way to success. Thank you. If you want the, the resources that I shared, you know, I'll share them in the show notes for this. Thank you so much for listening. January 1st, 2024, beautiful day. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.